So uh, as you've been hearing, at Intuit, we've been investing a lot in observability, you know, data and AI ops in order to build smarter platforms. And two of the uh, features, big features we've been working on, which we're contributing to the Argo community along with the community is Argo observability, making it much easier to see the health of your applications as well as the alert on them, uh, as well as a data analytics uh, system so that you can do real-time in-cluster uh, analytics on, uh, it, you know, in, your, in your cluster for your application. And there are talks uh, throughout the day discussing some of these features, so please check those out. But a quick you know, overview or preview, what does Argo Observability do? Uh, to start with, uh, we've added a metrics tab to the Argo CD UI, as well as a way to get Prometheus metrics to display in the metrics. So, so for example, today you go to the Argo CD UI, uh, and when you deploy an application, there is a little green heart icon, right? But that icon just indicates that Kubernetes thinks the pod is healthy. It doesn't mean that your application is actually healthy. It could be returning errors. It could be you know, experiencing high latencies. Uh, it could be consuming excessive amounts of CPU and memory. And today, you wouldn't know that by just looking at the Argo CD UI. But using this feature, you can now click on the Metrics tab and see those metrics immediately in the UI, immediately after deployment. And if those metrics don't look good, you could click a button and roll back that deployment right there. Right? So make it super easy for developers to, uh, to basically perform these basic functions right with the tools that they normally use, like Argo CD. With real-time in-cluster data analytics, now, if, when you have metrics that you can see, you also need to be able to analyze and enrich those metrics. Right? At Intuit, for example, we commute anomaly scores on all of these metrics that automatically indicates if an application's health is bad. Furthermore, once you have a single anomaly score, you can use that with Argo rollouts to automatically roll back your applications and fully automate the lifecycle management of deployment in your cluster. So I'm very happy to announce that uh, we are open sourcing this technology as a new project. Well, called Numa Proj. Uh, we actually originally started this project as uh, we noticed that a lot of people were using Argo workflows for data processing. So we started by using Argo workflows to do some of the analytics, but we found that it wasn't well suited for kind of uh, real-time inline streaming. So you may, some of you may recall that we had a, for a very short period, a project called Argo Dataflow, where we tried to create more of a streaming project. The more we worked on it, the more we discovered that we really needed a complete set of tools specifically for data and analytics. So please check, the, check, check it out. We want to make analytics, AI ops, through you know, tools like, you know, the projects like Argo CD, as well as other projects, you know, particularly real-time analytics in cluster, complete solutions are accessible to everyone. Right. And uh, this, is, this is the new mascot for the project. Actually, we just had T-shirts printed up. I took some home to my uh, to home, and left it on my dresser. And my wife noticed it and said, "Hey, I've never seen this before. Is this a new project?" And I'll say, "Yeah, it's a new project. Is it a dog?" And then I said, "No, no, it's a it's a baby polar bear, actually." <laughs> okay, but my wife even noticed. You know? Okay, now something unexpected and completely delightful. I hope. You know. By the way, Pratik coined this term Argoverse. Uh, we haven't trademarked it yet, but you know, okay. But first, before we actually get into live demo, let's take a look at a introductory video. Oh, I'm getting a spinner. Let's wait a little bit. Probably loading. I was slipping for a while. I may have to restart this application, which is not a big problem. Let me just go and so it's spinning. So let me kill it and restart it.
Alright, uh, we need audio. Hi, I'm Argo. Welcome to the Argo Project Planet. This planet is the first ever interactive social space for the Argo community. Here you can review the current state of the project, interact with other collaborators, and take time to relax before your next development sprint. The central space of the planet includes our community board. On the community board, you can see the top contributing members of the community, the partners that make this project possible, and information about recent project updates. Try interacting with it. Near the board, you can see an Argosian waterfall. If you try hard enough, you might be able to climb it. The small glowing orbs are other collaborators, real people you can interact with. Beyond the waterfall, you can explore many other regions. Check it out. We're so glad you're here. I'm gonna go hang out by the community board. Come say hi. And please, explore and have fun with the other community members. <laughs> All righty. Uh, it always makes me excited to see that. Uh, and it's amazing sharing it with the rest of the community as well. All right, but, but what does it actually do? Let's log in. Okay, I've now logged into the Argoverse. Let's look around a bit. Okay. Oh, let's head toward the uh, community board. Oops, I fell in the water there. I hope I can get out. Okay, see all those, all those hours playing video games wasn't wasted after all. Okay. All right, ah, okay, here we are. Hey Argo, how are you doing? How are you doing, Argo? Stop staring at me. All right. Doing okay today? See, uh, happy to see me as usual. Okay, let's take a look at what's happening on the community board here. Who are our top contributors these days? Aha, uh -huh, okay. You know, that's not a huge number of commits, but uh, we're getting there. All right. Okay, let's look at, okay, much better. All right. This is good. Let's look at some, that's what's happening with workflows. Oh, Alex Collins, man, he's such a prolific contributor. I'm never gonna catch him on the leaderboard, you know. Okay, now one day I'd like to be able to review and approve a PR right from here. You know, that's not quite there yet. But let's take a look at the rest of the planet. Let's, let's bring up the mini-map and accelerate our velocity here. Now, the planet is mostly unpopulated as of yet, and sometimes I get lost, so I hope I can find my way. I'm gonna head over onto the dark side of the planet. There we go, okay. Stars are coming out. You see some shooting stars. As you can see here, there's not a lot. There's the moon, that's nice. Oh, there's the Earth in the sky there. Obviously, the Argoverse is an invisible planet orbiting the planet Earth. So let's not show up on NASA radar, you know. Keep going. Oh, wait a minute, I see something over here. Let's head toward that. Oh, another lake, oops, fell in again. Okay, back out, all right, we're good. Oh, okay, there's a campfire here. Oh, that's a nice shot. Oh, look at the Milky Way there. Okay, oh, nice. Well, that's it. That's the demo. Uh, so that was a nice, nice diversion, but why? Why are we building an Argoverse? Okay, what's, what's, the, what's the point of it? Um, I don't know, my hope, or our hope for the Argoverse is that it is a way to celebrate the Argo community. All the journey we've been on, the journey we are on, all of the important things ha that have happened that will happen in the future. And I'm also hoping that uh, this is something that will dramatically increase the diversity and inclusion of the community. 
We already have a very you know, diverse community with contributors from all over the world, but it is a small fraction of the total diversity, talents, you know, and aspirations of everyone, even in Mountain View. Right? So I'm hoping that this contributes toward that. Uh, I'm also looking at it as an experimentation and a precursor to perhaps designing much more immersive user experiences for the Argo UI. Now, the VR technologies aren't quite there yet, but I, I think eventually it will be there. But it, imagine the user experiences we could build in a much more immersive environment where you could collaborate not just with your teams, but your users and the broader community. So, so those are our hopes and aspirations for this. And so this is the, the beginning steps toward that journey. So, so thank you, everyone. <laughs> Amazing being here with everyone.